money, money in this bitch And you know we too legit Been this side since one six Slim, thick, thick lips Know how to keep my nigga brick On this, on this Stay at the top spot of that Oh, it's your list Hate me, cause I'm a rapper. Why you wanna date me? Cause I'm a rapper. Yeah. Touchdown, off toe, straight to the Grammy stage. Uh, I can see the future through my Mark Jacob shades. Uh, Youngest coming up, but I paved the way. They shine till I pop through, then they fade away. Break bread all day when them players play. Getting my grind on me like it's Labor Day. If I fuck you tonight, then I made your day. You know what time it is, like flavor flavor. Dude, show me love, see the hate is grizzly. DJ Holler, shorty rocks in the building. Shit, I'm rocking, cold hurt your feelings. I can bob the bar, still come on pillin'. Red carpet shit, paparazzi lights flashing. No matter the occasion, we do it hot fashion. VIP treatment wherever I go. Fans screaming my name, head after my show. I'm a rapper, I be rapping. I'm from Brooklyn, we be packing. We don't talk much, we make it happen. Who wanna pop off? Let's get it cracking. I'm a rapper, I be rapping. I'm from Brooklyn. We be packing, we don't talk much, we make it happen. Who wanna pop off? Let's get it cracking. I hear him talk about me when I'm passing. Shorty Rock here, rapper, he be rapping. Hate me, cause I'm a rapper. Why you wanna date me? Cause I'm a rapper. Your boy club hot, five spots in one night. Out to sunrise, sleep to lunchtime. Riding dirty, looking out for one time. Serious pimp game, no need for punchlines. Stay dumb high, smoking exotic trees. Sipping exotic booze, fucking exotic dudes. Models, athletes, singers, actors, hood niggas, hustlers, dancers, rappers. Sending me gifts, copping me kicks. Days turn to groupies, wanna fuck to my hits. I know my star gems, why you liking the kid? Measures niggas go to spend a night with the kid. Drink new about a six pack instead of beer. Whenever movie drop, I'm at the world premiere. All expense paid sweets to my shows out of state. Up in Peter Lugas eating hundred dollar steaks. I'm a rapper, I be rapping. I'm from Brooklyn, we be packing. We don't talk much, we make it happen. Who wanna pop off? Let's get it cracking. I'm a rapper, I be rapping. I'm from Brooklyn, we be packing. We don't talk much, we make it happen. Who wanna pop off? Let's get it cracking. I hear him talk about me when I'm passing. Shorty Rock here, rapper, he be rapping. Hate me, cause I'm a rapper. Why you wanna date me, cause I'm a rapper? On my ball is get your hands up. If you get in paper, get your hands up. On my ball is get your hands up. Get your yes. hands up. Get your yes. hands up. Bet this one not. Put it on replay. Haters pissed, I still wells and PJs. At the chocolate cream party, not at the all star. Backstage stone, filling up the porn star. Got me so hard, like street like pole. Y'all just co stars, this is my show, this is my boat. So I'm the captain, killing them out, the lyrical assassin. For me, this game, something like a buffet. All like an Easter ain't enough for my plate. On the list for the club, so I don't have to pay. What more can I say, man? My lifestyle is great. I'm a rapper, I be rapping. I'm from Brooklyn, we be packing. We don't talk much, we make it happen. Who wanna pop off? Let's get it cracking. I'm a rapper, I be rapping. I'm from Brooklyn, we be packing. We don't talk much, we make it happen. Who wanna pop off? Let's get it cracking. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Anye Elite here uh, with the. Uh, First live episode of Funny Money Rock in these Corona ass times. Um, so uh, anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, the video that we just saw was from Shorty Rock, um, one of my favorite people and rappers out of New York. Um, without further ado, I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring them on. All right, let's do it. All right, and uh, yeah, what's up? What's How up? you what's doing, up? man? What's going on? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, um, I feel guilty about it. We were talking a little bit in the green room, and uh, you were asking me how I'm doing, which happens to be actually the name of a, um, a, 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 my last song that I just put out. But, um. I'm good, and that's and I and I feel bad. I know a lot of people have a lot going on right now, and my heart goes out to all of them. But 
you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, all I can say is but. There's nothing really responsible to say after but. But I know you're in the damn heart of the heart. Of yeah. It. Yeah, I'm so in the what epicenter. Is it like over there? It's, it's really crazy in New York City. Um, you know, we live in a dense population. So we, uh, you're talking 9 million people damn near live in New York City. So we're all on top of each other. So um, it's, it's, it's been rough. Um, luckily, I've been able to work on my my medical career and my music career from home. So that's kind of good. So I'm just been like trying to sit it out and spend time with my family and my girls at home and just trying to stay positive. That's really what it is. So, okay, okay. So we're going to get into the music, but you, you dropped a lot of personal stuff. So um, one, medical from a distance. How's that? Just a little bit of it. You don't gotta go too far. Yeah, because I can't go too, too far. But um, yeah, yeah. I see what's going on. I handle a lot of things on the back end because I've been in healthcare for a long time. So okay. I see a lot of things in the back end and I'm seeing what's going on from the back end. And it's pretty, um, it's rough. It's definitely really rough to see. And it's affecting all, people of all ages, you know, so. But. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you said your girls. Oh, um, I have my, I've been raising my baby sister since she was very, since she was very young. And then, um, she has a daughter, so they live with me. We all live together. So that's kind of my family life at home. People don't know that oh about God, me, that's, but yeah. That, that, you know, that's beautiful. You know what it is? Like, and I, and I say this, um, about all, like most, well, most, most gay rappers and stuff like that. The, it's like, okay. Yeah by nature of our lives there's a lot of you know kicking ass and and yada yada woo woo but like obviously to make it through life you know you have to have you know some kind of full existence you know and you have to be well rounded yeah and and so so yeah so i definitely say we need to see more of that actually i think we need to see more of your your personal life and more of like kind of what what maturing and progressing in this life kind of looks like um speaking of which you when you like how long have you been in the game wow um i think it's been 17 years sound crazy and long but um without hip-hop you know when i got in the game and it was like oh three something like that um it was it was a baby you know what i'm saying it wasn't a lot it wasn't a lot of people that was doing what i was doing you know, um, over the years that I've been doing it, it, it's grown a lot. You know, one of the reasons why I never kind of gave up and I kind of stuck in it because I knew that eventually it would grow, you know? Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's getting huge. Now, you said out hip when you started with out hip hop. Were you, when, are you saying when you started making out hip hop or are you giving a shout out to um, uh, out hip hop and um, Camilo? Camillo, Camillo's a very Camillo. important person to me and um out hip hop. Um he when I when I started in New York, I just thought I was the only person out here in the world doing what I was doing. And then mm -hmm. I met Camillo and them and the rest of them. They had a festival in New York City. Um, I think it was called Peace Out. And I met Camillo, he managed me for a little while and he had this website was called outhiphop.com so that was like where a lot of us our artists would go to to pro you know to promote our music to promote what, was, what we were doing what was going on um he started the first homo revolution tour which we toured different places throughout the the city and we're talking now about at least 10 years ago even more but it was small it was only like a cup uh maybe 10 20 of us you know but um now and I've seen it grown over the years and I, I, I like it to see like all these other artists come out and express themselves and, and watching it grow but y'all not gonna have no fun without me in it <laughs> I know that's right I know that's right it's 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 um it is beautiful I remember out hip-hop um I I it was a really fun time I was actually in Atlanta um and they, they were really supportive I you I'm one of the first videos that I remember um, seeing of, of gay rappers actually was Fox Giselle um, and you and oh my god Last of Dance and there, 
and there was somebody else, but right now, the last yes, Nana, real Nana, quick. So yeah, we, Nana, we did Nana that. Rhea, Nana Rhea, Nana Rhea, Ride or Die, yeah. Ride or Die Boy remix. Yeah, that that was that was hot. That was fire, and it was it was and just especially for the time. Do you know what happened to Lasto? Oh, wow. Um, Lasto, I seen maybe three or four years ago. They had did a tribute uh-huh. for me at um Stonewall. Um, and okay. he came through, you know, me and Lasso always had a, a nice, cool relationship. Um, and he came through, you know, so that, that was the last time I seen him. He, excuse me, he kind of be in and out sometimes, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the next time he's in, um, you know, tell him what, tell him what up. I yeah, because, you know, Lasso got skills. <laughs> Oh my god, he totally does. He, he totally do. does have He was skills. one of my faves back in the day. I like, I, that's one of my, I like Lasso a lot. Definitely someone to look up to. Definitely like a lyricist, and you know, I mean, because there were there were always so many lanes. And for the people who maybe don't know who I'm talking about, um, before um, you know Frank came out, before um, Lil Nas, before you know, before all those people, there, there have been gay rappers occupying a variety of different lanes. You know. Um, Sex sirens, kind of images, you know, common type people, like just, just so much variety. Um, and you know, I don't think that a lot of people know that, but you got to know your history to know where you're going. Yeah, a lot of people don't be knowing their history, so exactly. And and also, I would say that it's different. You know, um, an artist can come out, you know, and congratulations, you know, to everyone. However, you know, if the industry is still requiring you to, you know, make a generic pop kind of song and you're not really talking about the life, I kind of think that's different than, you know, what you and other out hip hop artists, you know, do in terms of talking about actual, you know, experiences of, of you know, black gay men. Yeah, that, that you, you're absolutely right about that. Um, one of the things that made me become a, a gay rapper, a hip hop artist, because I wanted to rap about the life that I was living the shit that I was mm-hmm. going on in New York City, you know, like the real stuff mm-hmm. that people don't know from the, the street life, you know, and the club yeah. scene and all that kind of stuff. And I think that what, what's happening actually is that we have these artists, you know, no, no take not taking nothing from them because they did great with their accolades, you know, Little Nas exactly, X and exactly. Frank Ocean. But from the community that we have created of out hip hop, we haven't really shown the world yet of that community from you to me to bugs to earth tone to to billy to brian you know what i'm saying to to kevin chaos so all of us that really was in this doing this shit and and Mm -hmm. that really made it grow to something big so now we have these other people but these are the people that you got to look at it in a different light like they're going to break they might break the ice in a certain type of way to make way for what's really what's the real out hip hop and the real LGBT hip hop circuit, and um, I really can't wait for that to happen because I want us to yeah. really show us who we really are rather than you know what they what they don't know about because they don't they may know about it but I want us to really push you feel me and that's really yeah. why like last year and thanks for um for participating on that album for the All Stars album that I kind of wanted to bring together a, you know all of us together and show the, the variety of skills that we have you know what i'm saying and that's on all different like you said from from pop to sex siren to some street hood shit to to some logical shit to to all of us that's different that really have skills and i know we could go up against a lot of these motherfuckers in the game <laughs> exactly exactly like i i you know i like the battle you know the battle rap people and stuff i think you know that, that doesn't, doesn't get, get to the radio, radio a lot, unfortunately, but um, I just, I miss the East Coast so much, man. I, 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 like, I'm trying to find my way back. It's just, it's just hard. Um, so I guess my, one of my main things that I think about when going back to just kind of like your longevity, um, so many people, and this, this is just artist, this is an artist question, um, generally, you know, so many people, um think that if you don't win a whole bunch of grammys and top the charts by a certain um 
point in life, then you should just, you know, pack it up and go on and move on. Um, as somebody who has been able to find a way to financially fund, but also just spiritually support a 17 year career. What do you say to people late twenties, um, thirties, you know, forties, fifties, whatever, you know, about finding the strength to keep going? Number one, um, I, for me, I love music. I, this is what I love to do. I, you know, there's been times in my career, like I was, I started late when I rem- I recorded my first track on my 25th birthday. You know, um, I'm a little bit older. I watched the game go through all of its changes. I watched people come, I watched people go. But the reason why that I still do music is just because of the love for music. I like making records. So I have my moments and I have been like, well, fuck this. I don't wanna do it no more. It's not seeing nothing. And I might take a year off or take some time off. But then people will drop records and then I just find myself like I got to get back in it. Whether it's our gen- our genre or any other genre and I hear new music and new artists, I just feel the need to go back in and be creative and make more music. And that's just what I decided to keep doing. I love to perform. Everything that I do is because this is what I love to do. This is what I feel like I'm made to do. I mean, I was smart. I went to school. I have a couple of degrees, you know, I have a career, you know, I live in New York, shit is real. I got to pay high rent. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And I might make Over a here coin. in LA, it's a similar situation. I might make a coin or two from my, um, from my music, but it's not holding down this high rent. But like I said, at the end of the day, I do this because the, for the love. I also love the community of out hip hop. You know, I got friends out there, you know what I'm saying? And from, from my, my brother, Billy Hood, to you, the Earth Tone. There's just so many people that we, we come up in. And I, I be feeling like it's kind of like our own little hip-hop world. And I love it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I ain't going yeah. nowhere. Fuck that. You know, you, and I watch the people come in and out. But I'm going to be the one that's always there from, from beginning to end. So even if, let's just say, things grow and they get better, I, I'm going to be right there while it's going down. <laughs> that's it. That's what's up. That's That's what's up. up. So So speaking of being right there, there, you're right right here with with One Night Night Only. Um, We're about to get into that track. track. Okay. Um, What 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 inspired it? What Uh, One Night Only. Um, Actually, I had um, because you know I'm um, I'm co-starring on the new season of The Circle NYC. Season four. And shout out to the circle. Shout out to the circle. So um, I was shooting that is show. It out already. Um, we're up to episode two. I haven't came into the show okay. yet. I'll see okay. when I come in. But I, I recorded the show on the. Sh- I recorded the song on the show. Um, the inspiration to the song is basically because I just kind of felt like we're living in like a hip, uh, a hookup culture. That's what I want to say. We live in a culture where everybody wants fast sex. Nobody wants to commit. Nobody wants to check for nobody. They and, and a lot of the lyrics of the song is really based on what I see and what I hear from a lot of people. Nobody don't want to do that. Don't they don't don't give me no good morning text. I don't want that. I want to I want to smash and dash. And that's what it is. And you know, part of being an entertainer, I, I'm this is what I do. So I wanted to make a record that represented what we hear people talking about nowadays and that's what it is i mean if it wasn't covid right now people would still be doing everything that was going on in my song <laughs> you know and that's the what people think and the, the the tragic part about it is is that when you look at it it's, it's kind of pretty sad that this is how this is how this is how we are and this is where we are with dating and relationships and dealing with people and that's straight and gay that's across the board Right. You know what I'm oh, saying? So, you know, one night only, that's what right. it represents. Definitely, definitely. Okay, okay so, so, you know, you're definitely right about that. that. I remember and, when, like, like, the gays and their um, apps and everything, and everything was just, it was so exotic and stuff. Right. And now, I look over at, you know, straight boys, my girlfriend's phones or whatever, and I'm like, is is ratchet as hell. Speaking of ratchet as hell, in honor of um, 
um, DJ, DJ Baker, Baker of, of the Drew Brody Show, show who um, um, was battling coronavirus. I think he is doing better now, but um, he didn't even tell me that uh, I spoke to him today. Yeah, yeah, I didn't that, know that. that. I would, I, I would have, I would have shouted him out better. But I was talking to him. We was texting all day. He never mentioned it. Yeah, I think this was. I think he posted about it maybe a week ago. You know, about a week ago or so. But um, anyways, um, in honor of him, um, and the ratchetness, I gotta ask before we get into one night only, um, who you loving? Who you loving? Who you want to be loving? I'm sorry. I said, who you loving? Who you hugging? Who you want to be? Oh, <laughs> well, I, I, I am in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for a couple of years now. Um, okay. It's kind of actually nice. It's really nice. I've been okay. to, I've been through some ratchet shit. I've been through my shit, but I think this one, um, I think this is the one. Oh wow! Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Well, well, thank you so much for doing, doing this. this. Um, I appreciate. Thanks for having me. Go ahead me. and get. Thank you so much. Um, make sure you guys check out the Circle New York. Yeah, and season four, All Stars. You can find it on YouTube. Um, we're about to drop episode three, and um, my single One Night Only is out on all streaming networks. And tomorrow, I'm doing a virtual show with um, Dwight O'Neill. And um, oh, shout out to Dwight. Yeah, Love with him. Dwight O'Neill, and we're doing a tribute for Little Kim. So I'm about to. Get my get my queen mm. beat on. You know that's my girl. <laughs> hey, I know that's so right. So to, to be able right. to honor her, I'm actually I'm actually excited about it. I'm in here with her since tonight. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. Thank you so. Thank you, Anya, for having me. I really appreciate it for joining. Take care. All right, no problem. All right, bro. Take care. See you later. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, we're going to get into one night only. Um, one thing I did want to say real quick, though, is that on that song that me and Shorty Rock did, I made a little joke about Fox Giselle. I apologize to her personally, but for everybody out there, it was just jokes. It was just fun. Okay, here is One Night Only by Shorty Rock. Fuck boys be cap, acting like they fly Nigga, is you dumb? I 
ain't got the time. Stop being thirsty. Was only one night. Catching feelings for only one night. Stalking my brain all for one night. Stop it, far. It's only one night. All right, all right. So that was one night only by um, Shardy Rock. So I right now am waiting on um, our next guest. Um, and his name is J Mac. Um, he is a um, a singer. You may know him um, from a. Uh, previous group um but right now what we're focusing on is you know the future um and everything new so um waiting on him to join us um in the meantime um let's do some let's let's um see what's trending right now so um I'm gonna head over to Icon City News. Um, Icon City News, for you guys who don't know, is um, the sister brand of Funny Money Rock. Basically, um, it's all about inclusive urban culture, but you know, what I've learned um, doing this for a little while is that people like what they want when they want it. So when you want um, up-to-date news about um, just politics and stuff. So some people don't want their gay rap with their politics. Some people don't want their uh, marijuana culture with their politics. That's why we have uh, Smoke and Sound. Um, I don't. By the way, I have this thing. I don't know if it's from Cardi B, but every time I say a word that begins with S M, I go shm 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 smoke. Like everything. Like I always want to say shmoney. Um, okay. So anyway. Um, but like I said, people, so smokingsound.com uh, is for the cannabis and everything. Right now, we're going to get into a new track. Well, it's not a new track, but we're going to get into a song from um, another LGBT artist. His name is Adonis Timon, um, and this is going to be good for him. Cause I be the daddy T on my D No you wanna be, ain't no son in me All you niggas get up under me What you wanna do, I'm number one, ain't no number two Give me the bag, give me a dad, give me the loop Cause I'm hotter than a sauna, bitch I get it how I wanna Say the drama for your mama, get a dollar from your papa Bitch I smell like some designer and a lot of marijuana Chasing comma, 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 no I'm not considered comma Yo, he let me eat the cookie, I got good form If you ain't sucking dick, I'm leaving, do I look boring? He give me high cause he like it when I look foreign You wasn't Destiny's child and now you look torn Yo, I let him eat the cookie Cause it's good for him I don't need the nigga I could watch him good porn But if he put it down I fuck around and cook for him I took your man out the club And got you looking for him You on my side nigga Boy use a cum rag Fuck a Uber I put money on your bus pass If you miss it broke gas Better run fast If you wanna ride my nigga Better pump gas Fix your weave It looks synthetic You a fag Yeah I said it You my kid It's not genetics Why you bitches It's pathetic I'm a winner You can bet it Be so fly and energetic Yeah boss is my aesthetic Suck some dick And don't regret it Don't be I ain't done with this shit. I'm no, coming before, in this motherfucking before, club. Before, 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 I'm getting in this motherfucking club. Bitch. Looking for your man cause he leaving with me Get it popping with my niggas up in VIP The boss will know who he is, don't need to see ID That's motivation to these niggas, call me T.I.P Now shorty wanna roll with a daddy like me I'm hot in the winter, in the summer icy Yeah, his dick game cold, let him hit it like three But I left that nigga alone, now he wanna fight me Yo, he let me eat the cookie, 
I got good form. If you ain't sucking dick, I'm leaving. Do I look boring? He give me high, cause he like it when I look foreign. You wasn't Destiny's child, and now you look torn. Yo, I let him eat the cookie, cause it's good form. I don't need the nigga, I could watch some good porn. But if he put it down, I fuck around and cook for him. I took your man out the club and got you looking for him. Uh, and I'm all about my green like avocado. Yeah, I take my nigga shopping in Chicago. Smoking on some weed from Colorado. The nigga had bitches, but he bought him. Damn. Hit up Nike, bitch, I'm looking like a check. Ain't gotta like me, bitch, you give me my respect. All on my dick, and it ain't even erect. He like my cookie, cause my recipe the best. Cause I be the daddy T on my D. No, you wanna be, ain't no son in me. All you niggas get up under me. What you wanna do? I'm number one, ain't no number two. Give me the bag, give me a dag, give me the loop. Biggie the cut. I'm hotter than a sauna, bitch, I get it how I wanna. Say the drama for your mama, get a dollar from your papa. Bitch, I smell like some designer and a lot of marijuana. Chasing comma, 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 no, I'm not considered comma. Money in this bitch, and you know we too legit. Been this size since one six, slim, thick, thick lips. Know how to keep my nigga brick on this, on this. Stay at the top spot of that wish list, bitch. The the root and that inspiration for um, J Max music. We were, we've talked about how coronavirus has um, affected you know being a musician in this climate. Um, I think one of the big takeaways, though, that people are going to want to know um, is that he is taken. So I, I did ask that. If you guys didn't hear him, I I, I, I did ask for you guys. Um, but in this, what a lot of artists are not putting out music right now. And a lot of artists are saying, I'm going to wait until this whole thing kind of blows over. Um, I know you started working on... Um, no love and the visuals for that, but you just dropped a single very <clears throat> this week. Or is that? Um, or is it like... No, no, I dropped a single like two weeks ago okay. called Down. Okay. Before Down, there was Satisfaction Guarantee. So, kind of like my roadmap for this entire year was to make sure that something was releasing every single month. Okay. A single, a video, hell, if it's just like one minute of me freestyling, so something should be coming to you every single month. Okay. You know? So the so there's this is part of an album, right? I wouldn't necessarily call it an album. I didn't feel like the the concept. I didn't feel like the production. I didn't feel like everything was cohesive enough for it to be an album. Mm -hmm. Um for me, these songs all are standalone projects. You know, they all kind of vibe and they all fit in the same mode of things. Cause like as an artist, as a creator, as a writer, one of the things that I'm like hyper focused on is love, sex, intimacy, like that interpersonal relationship that goes on between people, my past experiences, my present experiences, you know, things my friends and family are going through that I see continuously happening to everybody else. So for me, it's not necessarily an album. They're, they're all kind of standalone pieces. And then in May, we haven't decided on a final date for it yet, but the next song is coming out. It's DMs. It's going to be featuring myself, Kid, and Pretty Boy to Rock. So that's going to be like a really fun, just like upbeat jam. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, as a, um, we're going to, before we get into the video, um, before we get into the video, um, as a, LA artists, they, they say LA is the um, the land of broken dreams um, yeah, for, for a lot of people. Um, the guest that was on before you earlier, I had asked, um, you know, what gave them the energy to keep going, to, to keep releasing projects, to, um, you know, continue to innovate. Um, what what gives you that kind of uh, motivation? Well, a uh, short story to get you there. I moved to California like four years ago. Sorry, no, dang, it's been six. It's almost six years now. And I had all but given up on music right before that. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved out here, it was mainly for like career, job, and all those things were solid. Mm -hmm. But when I got out here and I got settled and like the job was good, the money was good, like everything was solid. I wasn't happy 
And honestly, it wasn't until I ended up on BeatStars.com and doing like a few open mics that it like clicked. It was like, I really can't live without this. This mm -hmm. I I don't give a fuck if nobody listens to the song. Like it feels good to just create it. It feels good to create the visuals for it. And you know, that that's kind of my drive. It's fun. It makes me happy. It makes me like you hear something, you know how it is when you hear a dope ass track and you like, fuck, I gotta write to this. And yeah. then twenty minutes later you got an entire song and you like, why? Don't I do this every day? Exactly. Exactly. So that's exactly. What kind of, so yeah, LA will break you. Industry will break you. But what keeps you, what should keep you going is just wanting to do it. It's that old school, like, boys and girls club question they used to ask you. What would you do if you never got paid for it and you, money wasn't an issue? What would you do if no one ever cared about it? What would you, I would create music. No matter what. Awesome. Awesome. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for doing this. You are making Icon City history as um, being one of the two first guests to the first ever live um, live episode of Funny Money Rock. And, you know, um, <laughs> I definitely thought it was going to be a little easier than, than it ended up being. But, um, you know, <laughs> here here's to um here here's to a a year of creativity. Um, I definitely hope that you know in the future, um, uh, when when you uh, create those additional projects, that you'll um come by and share them with us. Um, hopefully, maybe in person. Who knows what the future holds? So, um, we need to keep up because I got something for you in like the next couple of weeks for real. Hey, hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. So where, um, before I let you go, where should people go to keep up with you? Two places mainly. That's going to be my website, JMac Music, and that is music with a Q dot com, and then IG, which is JMac Music again, music with a Q. Like those are going to be the two spots where I'm putting the most energy and the most focus right now. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All righty, thank you so much for coming. Um, again, this has been our first episode of um, of um, Funny Money Rock, and I'm so glad that you guys came. After a brief break, like two seconds, we're going to play um, No Love by J-Mac after Pride Blues getting you down. Try Funny Money Rock. 100% LGBT hip hop and R&B <laughs> on Spotify on Apple Music and Tidal because beyond June beyond July our pride is 365 search funny money rat today we now interrupt your regularly scheduled entertainment for breaking news. Singer, songwriter, and multi platinum recording artist J Mac has been charged with felony heartbreak under Fuckboy Code 12.3.20 and is set to appear in court today. I don't think I love you the way you love me. Why do you give your heart so easily? Don't say that you love me if you. Don't know what it means The love you want You can't get from me I've been in these streets too long I don't think I can see What it is you got from me What you're offering There have been so many in the past who tried and failed to Teach this don't trick tricks yeah. Hearts in pain no love, no love, no. We used to f raw, no glove. And now you texting me back to back. I ain't got no time for that. Understand you want to love, but you ain't getting none for Mac. Focused on relationships, I'm focused on the racks. You trying to get my heart, I'm trying to get a plaque. I feel bad, but you gotta understand that I don't wanna be your man. I don't think I love you the way you love me. Why do you give your heart so? Easily Don't say that you love me If you don't know what it means The love you want You can't get from me 
Have you lost your head trying to fall in love with me so hard? I've been around the block so many times I don't know where to start If you want my body, baby, I can give it to you But if you want my heart, I don't know what to do I don't think I love you the way you love me So easily Don't say that you love me If you don't know what it means The love you want You can't get from me You better find another That'll give it to you how you want it Cause after I smash I'm dashing in the morning Please stop in my DM Please stop hashtagging me your MCM If you want the pipe Then I'ma give you the pipe But if you acting clingy Then I'ma leave you tonight I ain't got no time to argue I ain't got no time to fight That's probably why you single Show your right uh. Give me kiss and hugging Give me all your loving Remember baby I'm not your husband Stop trying to tell me about your type I came to get your brain Didn't lay the pipe It's not out of spite Promised you a night Could probably love you But I wouldn't treat you right Cause your love is for anyone Baby that means I'm not the one I don't think I love you oh, yeah, The way yeah, you love me yeah. Why do you give your heart so easily Don't say that you love me If you don't know what it means The love you want you Across the street. <laughs> it's been a long time. How I'm doing? <laughs> Man, my you been? Cause I'm only asking no grown ass nigga that shit. <laughs> Bitches, nigga, white Bronco. I need a sidekick, homie. Where's Tonto? I need the money now, nigga. Talking pronto. Yo, they up on the block. I'm up in the condo. I'm so slick with it. I might pop you with the limp wrist. Get it? Decorate the block with your new kicks. Okay, and hook your girl up with a new bitch. Been around the world and still a Philly nigga. Hey, yo, don't let my gentle spirit get your head splitted like a cigarello. Box you up like a bento. Bust you open like huevos. No hasta luego, yo Coming in quick like a riptide Over your head like a zip line. No matter what, I'ma get by Who's wrong? No nigga, this mine I got the keys, nigga, F1 You got the keys to the F-150 I'm the never get left one You the young boy, never left the city Let me tell you how I'm doing <laughs> You wanna know? Let me tell you how I'm doing I'm thin the flow Let me tell you how I'm doing You wanna know how I'm doing? I'm good! <laughs> Let me tell you how I'm doing. Got my ops upset, man, they really going through it. Let me tell you how I'm doing. A OK, thank the Lord, hallelujah for it. How I'm doing, got my ops upset, man, they really going through it. Let me tell you how I'm doing. A OK, thank the Lord, hallelujah for it. Let me tell you how I'm doing, got my ops upset, man. Tell you how I'm doing. A OK, thank the Lord, hallelujah for it. Let me tell you how I'm doing. Got my ops upset, man, they really going through it. Let me tell you how I'm doing. A OK, thank the Lord, hallelujah for it. Mm-hmm. Thank the Lord. 
love Ain't okay, then the Lord had me for For And um, for the latest in inclusive urban entertainment, keep it locked to funnymoneyrock.com. We'll be back here next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. I mean, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Funny money in this bitch, and you know we too legit. Been this size since one six, slim, thick, thick lips. Know how to keep my nigga brick on this, on this. Stay at the top spot of that wish list, bitch.